Hey, good evening, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I know my videos are a bit novice. Um, filming these off a, um, uh, an iPhone or a um, Android phone, so I intend to get a new camera and get uh, get some better videos for you. I am also limited in time. I've uh, my last two videos I were cut sh cut short due to um, my running out of memory, so I'm gonna try to be quick. So anyway, I got my brand new Tar Heel Lance. Um, Nucleus 2 form of carrying this evening, and I am just thrilled with it. Surprising how heavy it is. I mean, you, you can definitely tell there's some quality there. Um, ordered this several, and and this video is predominantly to sing a lot of praise to uh, Mac over at Tar Hill Ants. The guy is incredibly patient. I've uh, I've had to I've changed my order multiple times. I ordered a different form of carrium, and then I ultimately moved to this one based on his advice. And he's been very uh, very forthcoming with him, you know, with his experience and knowledge, which he has tons of. Um, for those of you that have been following me, I have uh, a couple honeypot colonies as well as several queen ants. Um, honeypot, I, I, forgive me, I can't pronounce the actual name, but um, one of them has grown quite large and uh, they're all, they're currently in a Tar Hill um, uh, talus uh, form carrying or, or inception chamber, I guess you'd call it. And it's time for them to move out. Got a couple or four pleats and they're growing and um, made my first order and kind of kind of backed out and told Mac I think I needed something different and he referred this one to me. And what's great about this particular form of carrion is you've got two sides. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. I think it was about $140 came with, I, I ordered the uh, museum glass, which at the end of the day, guys, we're doing this to um, to um, observe our, our, our ants. So, you know, um, I figured 15 bucks on top of what I paid was a, a good price to pay in order to get that... Um, you get that museum glass. You've got the little nest mates here, which you can fill up with fluid. I tried making my own, which I've been using in a talus unit, which are similar. Um, you just shove cotton in one side and fill it up with fluid, shove cotton the other side, and it worked, kind of. Um, this is far superior with fine mesh. Plug one, you know, cover that up, fill it up with water, put the plug in there, it'll kind of hold it, and use that to either ventilate the nest with no water and just unplug the... Um, the stopper there or uh, put some fluid in there and you can either hydrate or they can feed from it so uh, great concept Mac is definitely on a cutting edge I, I have to give them that uh, I looked at um, t uh, Ants Canada Mikey Busta makes a great product I've actually corresponded with him via email great guy very knowledgeable and very very friendly but I, I like the look of this it's it's more of a natural look it's very appealing to me so I'm I'm really impressed with what Mac puts together in addition to the nucleus too it also came with a, a little promo he had for the um, I believe it's the um, mini hearth a great little setup uh, again I think this is more of your founding form of carry you know capture your queen um, out here I've got a lot of pogo numeric so they're semi claustrals meaning the uh, the queen is going to come out of the nest and forage. And with and one, one of my early Pogon Americs, which is since uh, deceased, um, it had one one worker ant, uh, Nanictic, I believe is the, the official or the, the proper name for the first uh, first couple uh, worker ants. And it was fascinating. And I was I had that in the um, Tar Hill Ant Inception Chamber. And the Nanitic, I, I caught a couple times where the worker ant would come out to forage and the queen would come out literally pick up the worker ant, drag it back into the actual nest, and come out and continue to forage. I, I just found that fascinating. And as I've educated myself on ants, you know, I've always been fascinated, but when you start uh, keeping them, you, you tend to educate yourself a little bit more, and I find that there's a there's a life cycle of ants as far as the younger ants tend to take care of the brood, they stay in the nest, uh, and then they start, then the next life cycle is clean, keeping the nest clean, you know, in, in nature, um, digging, uh, expanding the nest, and then the final life cycle is um, is uh, foraging, probably, probably the more dangerous uh, you know job. So um, that was fascinating to see with the Pogon America. So I, I really like this up, as well as the inception chambers from Tarka Lands because you get that little foraging area. And I, I think this is a great unit. I'll, uh, one of the new queens I pick up, I will most certainly move move her over, or I'll probably put her in this, uh, especially if it's Pogon America, so I'll probably put her in this initially. Uh, versus a test tube setup. I do have several test tubes, but um, I find this to be a far superior setup, and, and then you don't have to worry about moving them later on. You wait till the colony, you get 20, 30, work, 20, 30 working ant, worker ants, and then move them into a, a larger form of carrium. Um, also, Mac recently released, and I believe this is the, um, 
the Adam C. Here's, I believe, an Adam A. If I'm incorrect, I apologize, but little guy. Uh, I really like this because you've got the built-in water tower. You can fill it from outside the nest. Holds water for a couple days. In my climate, you know, I get two, three days out of it before I have to fill it back up. But And I always fill about halfway. Um, but this is phenomenal. And, and again, Mac is always thinking and very creative. I think these are these are these are wonderful. You know, plug that up right there on that side, and um, great place for a queen to uh, you know found her colony. And I got uh, three of these guys. I, I'm not going to unwrap them. It's been it's been dry the last couple of days here in Tucson, but I believe we got some. We're gonna have some rain coming here in a few days, and uh, we'll go out there and start foraging for some queens. I've got about. I think I have 10 or 12 right now in a test tube, which I'm not going to mess with them right now. But I think as I get new queens, I'm definitely gonna, going to go um, uh, start them off in that, uh, that Adam C. A couple things, of, a couple things to note. Uh, Mac is now sending his um, syringes with blunt tip uh, needles. I can't tell you how awesome that is because I have not yet poked myself with the original ones, which were very sharp. But... Uh, I'm, I'm actually very surprised that I have not yet. So, um, you know, always thinking. He's always he's always improving on his um, on his system. So you got to appreciate that. Mess with that later. But uh, overall, I'm very very pleased. Let me pause real quick. I want to share this queen with you. Um, I caught her along the same time as several of my other queens last weekend. She's not she's not laying eggs, which is unfortunate. The rest of the queens that I caught her on the same time are all. Um, I get this to focus. Have all uh, started laying eggs. I'm kind of, kind of bummed out, if you will. Sorry for the again using a cell phone, so not the best um, option here. But um, the color is just phenomenal, and I think she would just have. I'm not sure of the species, just based on her the physical features. It it looks to me like it's a um, a honey pot ant and. The color is just phenomenal. This is the first one I've got with this kind of color. And I'm really hoping she has um, has some eggs and has a successful brood because I think this would be just a great, great queen to keep. But just the color is, is really neat. I haven't uh, seen anything else like this out here in Tucson, at least that I've I've collected. So yeah, I thought I saw some eggs when I, you know, when I first, you know, a couple days after I first got her, but she's been kind of caught in picking, but that's about it. So... I want to put her away. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. I, I thoroughly enjoy um, making these videos. I started uh, making these videos predominantly for my father. He um, he's fascinated what I'm doing with you know the ant keeping, and it's hard to take videos and email them to him. They're just usually too large, so I've uploaded them to YouTube, and uh, I've got a couple followers. Nothing like most of these guys, but. I have also really garbage videos. I can't believe anybody actually watches them. But uh, for those of you that do, I truly appreciate it. And and guys, for you for you though, they're getting into um, ant keeping. Um, Tar Hill ants, Mac, he great guy to start out with. Very knowledgeable, very easy to work with. And uh, if he can put up with me, he's, uh, you know, that's that's saying a lot for him. So I, again, I appreciate you guys watching. I will uh, keep you posted as I move my uh, my colony over to this nest. And uh, have a great night.